Chapter 2 Are you an idiot? yelled Katusha. Vanya drove the carriage through the town as Katusha derided him in the back of the wagon. You stupid man. If you want a fate worse than death, so be it, but I don't. Why couldn't you just leave me be? Let them hang me and get all the pain over with. Do you want me to be tortured? Do you want me to be molested? Why have you brought me into such a harsh deal? She questioned. But Vanya did not reply. He simply continued to drive. Some of the townsfolk who knew what had happened spotted the wagon and made gestures towards it. Others threw stones and garbage at the wagon as it moved down the street of their town until at last leaving the final shop of the town behind as the two moved into the countryside. Katusha, tired of deriding the men, turned her gaze outward to the countryside passing them. She knew this place well. It was the home of the resistance. Though not the first place to rebel against the union Katusha sought to create, it was the strongest to do so. Unified under the armed rebellion, ironically in part figureheaded by the very man who had saved her, though she had yet to realize this. She wasn't sure why the man had done this, nor what he had in mind for her rehabilitation, but whatever it was, Katusha felt uneasy about it. The countryside was green, the scars of the war past did not seem so pronounced as they were to the rest of the nation. A destroyed building here, mortar pits there, even a few tanks destroyed along the road. Perhaps one of them was one of her tanks from the past, a relic of times gone by, but really none of that mattered now. The days of Katusha's rule were over, and the sooner she got over it, the better. But now that she had been made to wait on death, it would be a much harder task for her to simply let everything go. The two pulled up to a large gate, which the man got out of the car to open. Katusha quickly looked around the car to see if any of the doors were open, but none did. Perhaps if she could just get to the driver's seat she could escape. The door opened and the man got back in, and drove them into the property. Katusha looked up to see the land that she was on now, as the man exited the car. It was an old homestead with a proper farmhouse built on it. The house was rather dilapidated and the crops were clearly only just starting to be planted, but it was the first time in a long time that Katusha had seen a homestead like this. Her door opened and the man reached in with his large hand and took Katusha by the arm, pulling her out of the car. He wasn't quite forceful when he did so, merely direct, and once she was out, he walked to the front door and left her be as he waited for her. Katusha looked at him, from where she stood by the car, and then she looked to the gate. It was closed now, but even still Katusha felt the urge within her to run. Still, something seemed off about this situation that she found herself in. The man had yet to force her to do anything. He had yet to even tell her anything. Was it wise to simply leave him at this moment without first knowing what he had to offer? I'm wanted in every part of the land besides here. Even if I escape, I'm probably worse out there than I am in here, she mused to herself. Are you through thinking on it? asked Vanya. Katusha looked up to the man. He was very clearly a soldier. Even had she not seen the clothing he wore, she would have assumed such by his stature, his posture, and the way that he conducted himself. It all matched such an assumption. Katusha walked to him and followed him into the house as he held the door open for her. "'Have you ate?' asked Vanya. "'I... what?' Katusha asked, confused by his question. She didn't understand. Katusha had expected him to ask something with regards to her punishment, as to what she did not quite know, but... the last thing she expected was a question of whether or not she had eaten. "'Have you ate yet?' asked Vanya once again. I... no, she answered. Then let's have dinner. We can discuss your rehabilitation further in a bit. The two sat for pie at the table, and while the two ate, neither said anything. Katusha was eager to get along with her lessons, or whatever she would be doing, but at the same time she was rather focused on scooping down her meat pie that she didn't even bother trying to bring it up until at last she had finished. Katusha looked across the table to see Vanya still eating his pie steadily while looking at the paper sat next to him. 
Vanya looked up when he noticed that Katusha had finished eating and asked, Would you like some seconds? When will my lesson start? she asked. Lessons? replied Vanya. My rehabilitation. You said you were going to rehabilitate me, so when do you plan to start? We've already started. What? Vanya looked at her fully now and stated, We started the moment that you got out of there, but I doubt that you're ready. If you were, you wouldn't be asking me for direction. Then help me get ready, cried Katusha. You really want to change? he asked. What, what kind of question is that? I don't have a choice. You dragged me into this shitty situation by acting like some sort of hero and taking me out of there. To, to what? To be rehabilitated? And, and now that we're here, you're not even going to bother fulfilling that. Maybe you want to die a horrible death. Maybe you want to get tortured, but I don't, she cried. I saved you from a fate worse than death. Even if you die at the end of all this because you can't turn yourself around, what you face here will be nothing compared to what you'll face in the life that is to come. You are not ready. I must change, Katusha exclaimed. What must you change? Vanya asked, pointing to Katusha. He stared at her, deep into her blue eyes. You don't even know. You don't know how to change because you don't know what needs to be changed, and you don't know what needs to be changed because you don't know why it should be changed, and it all comes down to you not knowing why what you did was wrong. I could lecture you day and night, but until you find it in yourself, I can do nothing for you, and neither can you. You want advice? Here, here's some advice. You need penitence. Learn what you've done. Understand it. Repent. And maybe then we can talk. Vanya stayed not inches from the face of Katusha, who he had at this point run up against the wall. She didn't move. She didn't say anything. She was frozen in place, and the two stood still for some time as Katusha began shaking slightly. She couldn't understand anything. She was completely lost. There was nothing to be read from Vanya's actions nor his words. She was entirely out of her own element. Vanya moved away from her and said, There's a room for you upstairs. It's the one to the right of the first. Vanya sat back down at the kitchen table and left Katusha be where she stood, until at last she gathered the strength to go upstairs to her new room. <laughs>